I'm curious about the preparation process for like a detective role like this one. Did you face any any unique challenges preparing for um, playing Jacqueline? You know, we all have always have a laugh about it. If you want to find something out, just ask a woman. I mean, it only takes us 20 minutes. We're like, shh, shh, shh. I feel like all women are detectives <laughs> to a certain degree. Right. Um, right. Jacqueline comes in with, with a lot of complicated past and a lot of pain, which adds layers to her. But, you know, I'd come 24 hour turnover from another project straight into Crescent City. I was playing on a comedy set, this wild drunk crazy woman to Jacqueline at 5 a.m. the next morning from Kentucky to Arkansas. I had time to think about Jacqueline, but I had been in another very different frequency to when I arrived the next day right. on set with Terrence Fursina, trying to connect with him, connect with what's happening. So I showed up quite messy. Um, I showed up exactly how Jacqueline should have been. And that's kind of the magic in a lot of these movies and things that happen is I don't over prepare for anything because the truth is I don't know what's happening on a day to day basis. I feel a certain way in each of it. When I wake up, I feel a certain way. I like to bring that to the screen. Sometimes some organic, lovely things can unravel when you just show up. Yeah. Women, we, we're on a, a monthly cycle of our life. We show up differently every day. So that's a woman on camera. That's how we connect with men and everyone's energy and stuff. And if you let things just live a little, some great stuff can come out of that. And it also can be conflicting. So all of it makes interesting um, movies and TV. So I, I try to allow that to lead me a lot of the time because um, that's authentic, you know what I mean?